Hey guys, and into the next 20 minutes, I would like to show you how to make your LFO weird again uh, to use such kind of techniques that I present in this only representative patch on what you can do with these techniques and if you like these patches you can uh, take it on my Patreon page as well as uh, the next patch from the tutorial itself so stay tuned so let's start with the basic technique which is uh, pretty much transform LFO simple waveforms into something else okay to start uh, this I need to clock it and send a division a bit slowly and then feed some waveforms into the palette not sharp ones at first okay let's turn this on and let's modulate it a bit okay that's a pretty much basic this is our starting point and next thing you need to do is to add a slew limiter and feed this square wave into slew one we absolutely need for scope for watching what's going on it's crucial for LFO so as you can see with the basic settings of book audio slew you get some Cinti ramp trapezoid wave and if you try to modulate the rise and fall you will get some slewed um, a bit square wave or experimenting with the full um, shape of rise and fall you pretty can get attack, hold and decay envelope which is pretty expanding and the really basic one who want to make their LFO weird let's try to feed the result that for example let's try to fit another asymmetry okay the first weirdness with LFO I found is to modulate unipolar and unipolar uh, mode of LFO generator in case of frozen wasteland LFO it can bring really interesting results okay let's look at the triangle wave and let's clock it by the division of fourth or hour clock okay you can see you get instant weirdness kind of squash it square wave sorry so wave pretty much looking as wave shaping on rectifying but you can bring some bit faster divisions into it uh, pretty nice let's try to add this You can find this pretty much uh, clicky sometimes, but you can always, always bring some slew limiter to tame it in those clicks. Very cool for basses. Let's make uh, 
the pellet in unison mode and spread it out. Pretty cool. So that was a new polar bipolar switch and the next wireness in LFO in this particular LFO is a hold button. So hold receives uh, triggers. So you can see it reacts our us on off state. And if you bring some sequencers like MuGraph and clock it with a X4. Let's reset this. And let's bring the trigger into the hold. The pretty interesting thing in this hold feature is it, uh, sometimes with a basic LFO like uh, Visivir basic LFO, you can get only the reset function into this, but in the results you can get only kind of envelope generator states but hold fixing value at the point is LFO is going at this moment and it looks like sample and hold thing in case of uni in polar switch as well but you can see uh, the difference in up and down behavior Pretty nice. And the next technique to make your LFO weird is adding a shaper. The best one for this purpose is a Squinky Lab shaper. And you need to set it to DC mode. Then you able to pass some DC values like at CV controls. Okay, let's compare the triangle wave from the shaper and from LFO itself. As you can see it's pretty squashed at this moment. If you bring some gain it will be more squashed and different in time. Okay, let's try to rely on our ear. But the best mode in the shaper for LFO you can find in um, folder. Pretty nice. And let's uh, duplicate that. Let's add another folder as well. Let's look at the waveform of this folder. Experimenting with the offsets is pretty cool. Let's try to change our sampling mode. Probably I get more clicks, but it just can be a plausible. And let's uh, switch to the last mode of the shaper is a crush mode. So you can basically turn your LFO into weird sample and hold stuff. Not pretty actually weird and it looks like more a gate but let's experiment it with the gain let's bring some faster division in, in it and let's drive our pellet Clicking, so let's add another slew limiter. Okay, pretty cool. And <clears throat> next thing you can find in this video is uh, bringing the face behavior of this already modulated LFO. Just uh, take a PD array 
uh, change the position range to plus minus 5 volts and bring some saw wave into this. Uh, you can actually draw uh, up, uh, you can bring some more precise values like 4000 draw something and get some MS envelope generator interior setup and looks like that in case it's holding you can get those ramps but the out smooth is already contains some slew linter Let's change the mode palette if we are annoying the previous one. You can find uh, FM mode is pretty weird. Let's set a delay. And let's swap it to the pen. Time. So yeah, PDRA is pretty interesting mode in terms of phases. We can tame the, our divisor and already can get some nice sonic pellets around it. So the next thing about BPM LFO is this tool has a has a expander which is called phase X. By the way, you can also try to get BPM LFO2 in your setup, but I found it's pretty CPU hog when modulating these parameters. And in some reasons I don't like that, but hope it will be fixed in some day because this module is pretty awesome. So in phase X you can just expand the phase phases of this BPM LFO and of course you can get modulated those phases but before that I try to recommend your phase modulation in this module so we need to okay let's take PDRA output here So now it's totally weird LFO in this case. To get instant fixes in your modular setup. It's totally completely different, you know, about LFO. It was a surprising part for me how it sounds like. Very cool. And okay, let's modulate the phase X2. For example, bring some uh, triangle wave into it and try to take dif different phase. Uh, you can hear already a difference in the, the internal rhythm of that palette makes. Let's take another one and apply, for example, to the tune. I'm not a big fan of modulating a pitch, but it sounds nice. You can also switch the integral values on or off it contains to the integral values i believe so pretty nice and let's switch to the another technique which is requiring a boolean logic this is quite experimental ones hope to oh it will be useful in this case okay let's 
decrease our division at this moment. So I just bring in the square wave LFO from the LFO itself and uh, actually sample and hold it LFO into the input B and each time it behave together you can see the gate outputs around and XOR and so on. Let's bring another pallet and let's bring some trigger into it. We can actually do the trigger our main module itself. Pretty cool too. And let's add some drum. It's already pretty IDM stuff. That was a brilliant logic experimental technique. And the last technique I want to show you is uh, make a presets for desired multiplier and division. So I need to take something like wood knot. Where is knot? Okay, knobs. And take eight phase from Sturmeller. I just make the right connection, apply a bipolar uh, mode on the knobs, and let's apply those attenuation to it. Nothing is happening because it's on the zero volts now, but let's bring some different ones. Don't rely on multiply much. I like to relate uh, or automate division in this case. Let's try a different one. Watch here what's going on. I pretty like th these old signatures. Okay, five presets and now we can take any kind of trigger. Let's take them from Boolean logic and get some nice rhythmic behavior or kind of semi-generative behavior. I don't like to use 8-phase on BPML4 which can bring um, not okay results to shapes of this LFO waveforms or CV forms, sorry. Uh, let's bring some guide rhythm into it. Let's add a hi hat and bring from trigger from MiGraph. In case it's BPM LFO, you can guarantee to you will get a proper rhythmic result and in the end of your patching experience. Is that the river? Pretty cool. So that was my ideas on how to make LFO weird again. Hope you like this video. You can grab this patch and previous patch I show you in the beginning of the video. And thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for Frozen Wastelands for such amazing modules. And hope to see you next time. <laughs>